Greetings, Science Maximites. Welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. My name is Phil, and today on Science Max, we're going to be harnessing the awesome power of lightning! <laughs> this is gonna help us okay. to create lightning. This is our grounding rod. <laughs> it is my scepter of science. <laughs> and so we're gonna use this to continuously provide that negative charge. That's why static. it's plugged in. That's why it's plugged into the ground, yeah. Okay. Okay, so then if you Touch it to that metal ball. Got it. Uh, not too exciting, right? So pull away and let's see what happens. Whoa! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Very good. Behold, I have the power of lightning! <laughs> so it's the difference between the positive and the negative is what we want when we want to make a lightning bolt. Yes. So is there something we can use to make that happen? Large difference of charge? Yeah, I think I have just the thing. Oh yeah? Yeah, you wanna check it out? Absolutely. All right, Okay, let's, do let's go. Back to our main experiment where Heather and I are on a quest to use static electricity to recreate a lightning bolt. Our experiments with the Van de Graaff generator had some hair raising results, but Heather has another experiment she wants to show me. This is Jacob's ladder. Oh, so this is another way to make lightning. Yes, lightning. See, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Where do, how do we get it to go? All right. So we want to turn it on. Behold! Oh, turn it on. Knock, okay. Knock. Go. Oh. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> you can actually see that light climbing up between the two copper wires. That's why you call it Jacob's ladder because it's got the rungs of the ladder. Yeah. Heather and I have been on a quest to recreate lightning using static electricity. We've gone from balloons to a band graph to a Jacob's Ladder, each more lightning-y than the last. Finally, Heather suggests we use a... Tesla coil. Oh, is this named after Nikola Tesla? Yeah. He